if you're tired of taking the extra time in order to individually place different files in Lightburn to cut them with the least amount of scraps left over, the nest feature is amazing and probably my newest favorite feature on Lightburn. Check this out. On this screen, I have a little cattle tag that's gonna go with my baby milestone charts. I'm gonna select everything and group it. If you don't group it, each individual piece will be nested in a way that fits best and we don't want that. Now, I also want five of these. So on my Mac, I'm just going to hit Command V. There's two, there's three, four, five. Now, typically I would spend time rearranging them and flipping them around in order to have them fit best within each other, also called nesting. But Lightburn software has the capability to do that for me. Next up, I am going to create a box that I would like these to fit in. Now, this would be the measurements of the piece of wood or wherever you want them cut, acrylic, whatever material you're using. And that's where I'm going to want all of them to fit. I am going to select all on my Mac, Command A, and go to Arrange, then Nest Selected, and it'll open up a browser on SVG Nest. Lightburn is blinking to tell me that they copied the file name for me just to make it easier to find. Mine will be right there. Here's my pieces. At the bottom, it says to click on the outline of where you want these pieces to fit in, and I am going to click Start Nest. Now, sometimes this can take a while um, because my <laughs> internet is slow and I'm in the woods, but as you can see, it's going to play around with different variations in order to use the optimal amount of materials for your cut job. The one thing I don't know is how long this will go or if it will just go until you click stop nest. But this ideally looked like what I was picturing to use the optimal space. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop nest. And then right next to it, the button right here, download SVG will allow me to download it. I'll open it up into that folder rather than reopen the file, which I know you should typically do to preserve this sizing, I am just going to drag and drop. There's my file, all nested, and ready to go. While I made this video and hope that it helps somebody, um, obviously I'm not perfect at this. Everything was grouped together with my cattle, but you can see the little holes that I made to put the ribbon through, they're still grouped with everything, but they're not in the ornament itself. So maybe that's why I should have let it go until it finished on its own. I'm not 100% sure, but I wanted to point that out too, just in case you're trying it yourself. I'm Jess from Scripting Green, and if you're into lasers and trying to figure things out, well, let's do it together. Make sure you're following along or subscribe to my YouTube channel and we can make something together. Stay tuned.